this topic, applications of differentiation, right? What we're going to increasingly focus on is places where special things happen. So see this guy here? Right? It's like, oh, there's a weird thing happening at that spot. I want to understand it. Okay? So we're going to be having a look at, like this page, it's quite long, like we're going to develop and fill in this page over like multiple lessons. We're just going to start right at the top here with the stuff that we're familiar with. Okay? So you know how in our table we said, and in fact my table is, it's here, here we go. In our table we said, oh, when things are stationary, when your derivative is equal to zero, that's really important, right? We focus a lot on that. So I want us to fill in a little more of what's going on here because there's more than one kind of stationary point, and we kind of alluded to that just now. Okay? Uh, yeah, it's, it's actually not quite a Venn diagram, but it's, it's like it. So many of the stationary points that we find are what we call turning points. You've found these already, right? So what we mean is if you have a look at a particular spot, it's going to have a horizontal tangent, but it also like turns around. Like it's, it's decreasing and then it's increasing. Or vice versa. Um, it might be increasing and then it might become decreasing. So it, it turns around like so. So these graphs here, they look like parabolas, right? So just as an example, as an example, uh, plus or minus x squared. These give you stationary points where things turn around. Okay, does that make sense? Now, we saw, in, even in that very first question, that some stationary points do not do this increasing then decreasing. Sometimes they increase, and then they just they stop for a moment, and then they just keep on increasing, right? So in other words, you have something that looks somewhat like this. Wow, it's a cubic. Okay. Now, a perfect example of this is x cubed. In fact, that's what I was trying to mimic drawing there, right? So what's happening is you're increasing, you stop for a moment, that's the stationary part, and then you just keep on increasing. You don't turn around, um, there's no facing the opposite direction. Of course, I could do this in the reverse order. I could decrease and then stop and then decrease again. So these guys here are not turning points. They are still stationary points though. So that's why they're in this uh, inner circle here. And just again, um, and Saran pointed out, as an example of it, this is not the only time that it happens, but as an example, um, x cubed or minus x cubed will give you this kind of shape. Okay. Now, um, there is one other example, which is there are some really boring functions that they're just stationary all the time. And we actually drew one in our previous table, right? What would it look like if a function was always stationary? The answer is it's a linear function, right? That's very correct. Well, it's just a horizontal line. Yeah, a linear function like this. Um, importantly, it's not, it's not going up linear, or not going down linear. It's, it's got to be horizontal. It's got to be parallel to the x-axis. So you know, if you've got y equals to, well, actually, if you have y equals to any constant number, 0, 1, 2, 3, negative 1, 2, 3, or whatever, y equals a constant, you will get this kind of behavior. Okay. Now I actually want you to think because like even though this is going to be our focus for the next little bit, these are the stationary points we're interested in, there are other kinds of functions that you know about um, which for example they turn around even though they're not stationary. How many of you have your notes from last topic still in your current book? I know some of you moved on but how many of you got the notes there? Anyone? Last topic was graphing techniques. Does anyone remember that? Um, okay, so here's what I want you to do. I want you to think about what this guy looks like, right? What does this function look like? Do you remember this guy? Yeah, yeah it's this bouncy V looking thing, right? So you can go ahead and you can draw something in, like so. Okay. Now, I hope you can see this is a function that, well, think about the word, right? Does it turn? And the answer is totally turns, right? It's, it's decreasing and then it's increasing. Okay? The difference is though, we don't call it a stationary point because it's sort of in this category. right? You can't actually find a derivative at that spot where it turns around. Okay? So we call this guy, the reason why it does this behavior is it's called a piecemeal function. It actually changes from one side to the other side. right? In fact, uh, this is really shorthand for minus x over here and, and positive x. Okay? 